Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you uh, how you can integrate Jira through Zapier. First of all, what we have to do, we have to create ourselves an account at Atlassian.net and we want to go straight to Jira software. Uh, as you can see, this is our workspace at uh, Jira.com and uh, I, or, I uh, recently created this project just to show you how it's done. First of all, uh, once we uh, are here, we want to start with uh, apps or this option at the top of our uh, screen. And we want to go to find the new apps. Basically, uh, this is where you can integrate uh, Jira with basically almost everything or almost uh, every single app. So yeah, let's go with, uh, let's go with something we know, let's go with, uh, yeah, it's completely up to you. So Slack integrations, maybe, yeah. You just get it, uh, get it free, and you're basically done with your integration. Other way, and the other way how you can uh, manage to do that, it's through automate.eo. I will leave the link in the description down below. And uh, you just go to the top corner, integrations, see all categories, and basically you can uh, forge your integration here. But uh, as I said, I want to show you how you can make it through Zapier. Right now, we have to create ourselves uh, an account at zapier.com. Uh, and uh, how it's done? Actually, we have to go to the top left corner and we want to make a Zap. Zaps. Uh, or zap uh, basically stand stands for integration so we click on make a zap and we can name our integration here so let's go with jira to whatever whatever it's for like every single like anything you like any application you like now we have to set up ourselves a trigger the trigger uh, trigger app is obviously jira so let's go with Jira Software Cloud, uh, new issue as a trigger event, or you can pick from those two, uh, or like two more options. Now you can, uh, or you have to log into the account at Jira that we created. We hit continue, set up a trigger. Uh, we have to find the project. This is the one that I created just for this reason. So let's go with this one, continue. And now you can test your trigger. And the second action, there should be the counterpart to the gyra. Uh, so basically you can pick from all of those or you can just search for the one you want. So let's go with, I don't know, smart sheet. Let's go with the first option among many. And the uh, last thing you need is just to uh, log in to your smart sheet account and you are basically set and done. So Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.